companies face many challenges in the exploration and production of hydrocarbons, with driving a particular focus for many due to the long distances and extreme conditions. Safety is an overarching priority at Petroleum Development Oman, with road safety a key focus to ensure that its people are kept safe as they go about their daily work. Nazanin Moshiri travelled to Oman to see how this investment in people and technology is not only improving safety, but increasing operational efficiency too. In this vast and inhospitable desert, drivers from Petroleum Development Oman, or PDO, must travel cautiously. There are many risks, including the unpredictable weather, the blinding sun and the road conditions. There is some uh, risks in the desert, uh, in the desert uh, roads, like uh, driving while uh, storm dust, also that uh, flying stones from the other vehicles, the other uh, road users who unsafe uh, driving, who speeding, over speeding, you can see uh, who overtaking the vehicles uh, in the wrong uh, locations. Ahmed is among 8,000 employees and more than 45,000 contractors who work for PDO. Its operation area or concession is around 90,000 square kilometers. Uh, to give you a feel of dimensions and logistical challenge, every day our staff and our contractors as they access wells, facilities, pipelines, have to travel the equivalent to the moon and back every single workday. PDO spends more than a million dollars a year on training its drivers. What they learn here in the classroom is put to the test outside. The rules are simple. Buckle up, drive within the speed limits and be aware of potential dangers before they happen. This is also part of the training. A rollover simulator shows drivers what it might be like to be involved in an accident. And this is a seatbelt convincer. Woo! That felt quite strong. That was seven kilometers an hour and I really felt myself moving forward and it was actually a little bit painful there. You can imagine what it'd be like if you're speeding at say 10 kilometers, 20 or even 50 kilometers an hour and involved in a crash. This is all part of PDO's strategy to try to change the culture of safety here in Oman. But PDO's research discovered that training is not enough. Rules need enforcement too. All of PDO's vehicles are fitted with an in-vehicle monitoring system, or IVMS, which tells staff at this control centre a driver's location and speed. We are monitoring up to 6,000 vehicles in a day here. There's very much link between the monitoring and compliance. If you do not monitor, people don't comply. They think, you know, the system is there, but nobody is working on it and I can do whatever I like. People who do not comply, there is a consequence on it. And if you don't monitor, you won't know that the people are actually complying and therefore you will not give consequence and therefore people will not actually change their behaviour. But IVMS isn't just a punishment tool. It also ensures drivers don't go over their hours because fatigue can lead to mistakes and accidents. And it helps keep those in remote locations safe. It can uh, control people who are driving uh, outside at uh, duty time. So it can control all vehicles. So it can also allocate the, the location of the team, either the, in the field or outside the field. The PDO can't control the behavior of other drivers on the road. Marwan al-Wadahi lost his parents in a car crash. They weren't wearing seat belts. <laughs> He told me, although fate is destined, people can avoid disasters like what happened to him by understanding the risks and complying with the rules of the road. The campaign is not only focusing on, on educating people or raising the road safety awareness, but also to share PDO's wealth on road safety. So what we are trying to do is use what we are having of training material and uh, share with them our experience and so on, and also enlighten people on what PDO is doing. It's tragedies like this that persuaded PDO to launch a nationwide campaign called Tell a Friend. This is one of several adverts which focus on what is at stake. Uh, PDO's commitment to road safety and the huge investment in that sector has paid, paid us by ensuring that everyone operates with us is safe, 
and at the same time uh, the reputation of the company is at stake. So it's really very critical for us to ensure that everyone is safe. So the commitment of PDO's management to road safety is, uh, is, is playing a critical role in that operation. PDO has gone beyond its remit within the oil and gas sector. Its safety campaign is influencing the community around it and hopefully saving many lives.